Okay, welcome to uh, Dijkstra algorithm. If you would like to try it yourself, you can go to this home page and say this here yeah, and graph. I just download that. It's a simulating tool that I've created myself. So here we have the Dijkstra algorithm. You see the graph, a default graph here. And we want to find the shortest path from A to H. Okay, so just try and stop it here. First one step there and stop. Okay, so now if you look at uh, so before the algorithm can start, uh, the start word is added to priority queue. So the first vertex A, which is the start vertex, is put into the priority queue here. And it has the weight from um, zero and comes from nowhere. It's the same. We come from. Okay. Uh, the algorithm is now ready to start and will uh, run until there is no vertex left in the priority queue, or if the active vertex is the destination. So, so long as there are, so as long as there is some vertex in the priority queue here, the Dijkstra algorithm will run, or if the active vertex is the destination. Okay, let's get started. So the first step is take the lowest vertex and dequeue it from the priority queue. And uh, there was only one inside the priority queue, so we have set this to active. A is now the active. And the next step is set it to visited. Now A is set to visited, which means that it will never appear into the priority queue again. And it also means that when you set a vertex to visited, this means that this is the shortest path from, the, from A to A. So from A to A, it's zero. That's the shortest. Check if the destination, where is the destination? Check whether the A is H, and it's not, so we're not going to stop. Next step, take all the children and put it into the priority key. So we have B, E, and D, which we're not going to put into the priority. First, we have B here, then we get D, and E. It doesn't matter the, how we are putting it, just to put them in. Uh, the order is not important. And you can see that uh, from A to D, it uh, is a weight from uh, of 5. Because 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 4 is 4, and 0 plus 2 is 2. Okay, now this were the first four steps. So uh, now we're going to run these steps again. And the first step is take the lowest vertex and DQ from the priority. So the lowest is B. And we are not going to take B and make it the active vertex. There it goes. B is now taken out of the priority queue and put into the active vertex. Set the B to visit it. It's going to become red here. Now that means that the fastest or shortest path from A to B is 2. Check whether it's the next destination, it's not the destination. Then take all the children from B, put them into the priority queue. Now we have a strange here. We, uh, we see that B has a weight of 2 plus 1 to E, which is less than that one that already inside the priority queue. Okay, and if I can come up with a shorter path, I just override uh, the vertex already inside the priority queue. So it, uh, we're going to override E with the weight of 3 coming from B. There it goes. You see, now it's 3 coming from B. I also see it here, priority queue. And that's it. Now I'm going to do all every, every four steps again. Take the lowest out, which is E, set it to visited, check with the nation, and then put all the children in. So now we have put uh, H, which has a weight of 9, which is 3 plus 6, and uh, F is 3 plus 3 is 6. That's right. Take D out, because it was the shortest, set it to visited, there you go. Shortest path from A to D is 5. Uh, put the children in, which is only G, G here. So we're going to put G inside here. G comes in here. And then all over again. The shortest is 
f put that over here and do vertex here okay and now uh, we have a strange situation first we check set it, visit, set it to visit it so the shortest path from a to f is 6 coming to a e now one children we have one children in f here which is h but the weight is 6 plus 3 is 9 it's the same as this one okay and we also have c here let's take that first there the c is coming in but uh, hey, what do we do here well uh, if it's not a shorter path we're not gonna override this one here just gonna stay it so you can see it did not override where this h because it's lower or the same weight okay so uh, only if it's uh, shorter we override it now what is the shortest inside you it's uh, g it has a seven here we're gonna take that out okay set this to visit it now it's visited is it the destination no it's not the destination put all the children from g which is h and now we have a shorter seven plus one <coughs> is eight so we're going to override this h with eight you see there it goes now it's eight coming from g now find the shortest from there it's going to be h with eight there now h is coming over here set it to visit it we have set it to visit it now we're going to check whether this is the destination and it is the destination that's what we're looking for and now we know that the destination is 8 coming from g coming from d coming from a so we can backtrack you see we backtrack and now we have the shortest path and we know which vertex to go through that was the Thanks for Thank you.